Hey guys, Dustin Furlow here over at Master Sound Studios in Virginia Beach. I uh, wanted to formally introduce the uh, newest addition to the uh, guitar family. This is a guitar from Mark Benito. It's my second guitar from him. And um, he's built guitars for people like Don Ross, Tony McManus, Craig D'Andrea, a bunch of my heroes. And uh, yeah, his, uh, his guitars have really spoken to me every time I've played one. I've played about five now. Um, and there's, you know, there's a certain responsiveness to his instruments that I've really grown to like over the years. You know, they respond to a light touch really well. Um, and if you really dig in, they don't, it's like the headroom just goes on forever. So, um, I really enjoyed my Model M, but I figured it was time for something new. I had a couple things in mind with this build when we started it. Um, the main thing is it has a longer scale length. It's 25 and three quarters versus the regular 25.4. And uh, the idea was I got a lot of tunes that are written a full step down in standard, but also I wanted to be able to play in dadgad, but a whole whole step down as well. So the CGC variation of that. Um, and you know, Mark, he really delivered in spades with this one. It's, it doesn't get floppy. It's got a nice full voice as you'll see in the demos coming up. But uh, yeah, so this is his jumbo or SJ body size. 17 inches across the lower bout and four and a half inches deep at the tail block. And normally you'd associate that with like strumming and stuff, but again, the way he uh, sort of voices his guitars is for optimal balance. Um, you really get every single string has sort of a voice of its own. Um, yeah, I've really come to, I guess, like his approach. Uh, you, there's a lot of sustain and shimmer like you'd expect from a contemporary finger style builder, but there's still that fundamental earthiness um, that's really articulate for um, what I do. Um, anyways, yeah, let's talk about the wood. So uh, I chose an Alpine spruce top for the soundboard. Um, the idea was to maybe get some nice overtones out of it and a nice sweet treble. Um, as a result, there's a really bell-like sound um, to the trebles that I really like. Um, for the back, um, we did a 20-year-old set of black walnut that's quarter sawn. Uh, walnut, to my ears, is it's a lot like mahogany, but maybe with the shimmer and the focus of rosewood. Um, it's really not used a whole lot in contemporary guitar building. I don't know why. It smells great. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. Um, has great string separation as well. It's something I've noticed in all the ones I've played. Uh, yeah, so there's a, a Macassar Ebony Bridge fingerboard, bone saddle and nut, which is standard. Um, there's a spalted maple rosette that I really wish I could, I guess, have the camera focus on. It looks like there's like little lightning strikes and it. it's just beautiful. Um, his attention to detail on the bindings um, outside of the, the spalted maple is just incredible as well. Um, we, we chose a nice burled walnut for headstock veneers and oh the other thing Mark had his own little touch um, he had the idea to do a walnut neck which I think is kind of cool of course a walnut um, headstock veneer on the back as well some uh, scholar tuners with ebony um, tuning keys and there's a little sound port here so kind of acts as a monitor speaker my favorite part is probably these uh, flamed koa bindings and these arm bevels. He did a Kevin Ryan style bevel for optimal comfort. There's also one on the ribs, or for the rib, I guess. And uh, I mean, even without the bevels, it'd probably be pretty comfortable. It's the way he makes the SJs has nice, nice waist that sits on your leg. Um, really nice. But uh, yeah, I think that's about everything. Um, I've done enough jabbering. So we're going to play it. We're going to do some uh, altered tunings finger style stuff and then we'll take a flat pick to it. We'll see how it sounds. Cheers.